Good morning, YouTubers. It is, and um, non YouTubers, Monday, uh, the 16th of August, which means it's the anniversary of Elvis Presley's death, who died on August 16th, 1977. I was three. So there we are. There's a thought about that. Um, obviously, I don't remember it, but there you go. But um, yeah, I thought I'd mention that. It's also a bad day. Why is it Monday comes around so fast? It's not fair. It should not be allowed to be c come around as fast as it does. I'm fine. Blood pressure's still high. Um, I think that's a given now. Just sort that out. Trying to cut down on the rubbish, eat more sensibly, try and exercise a bit more. But it's going to be a slow old process, but we will do it. Um, I've had some cereal this morning. I'm not a big cereal fan. I prefer toast, but they do say to cut down bread, so I might have... Um, toast tomorrow, um, but they had cereal, so that's good. Um, I'm going to go and get dressed, get Jennifer up, get Paul up, and uh, get on with the day. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's no opportunity for time off this month, so to have a look at the road to and see where I can get a day off. Um, but I know it is sometime in September, and that seems 16th seems a long way off at the moment. Never mind. Anyway, I better get going. Finished work. Jennifer's home. We're watching something with Siren Head in it. She hikes the Siren Heads, don't you, Jen? Cheers. It's a lovely t-shirt on. You want to show your t-shirt? It's Jurassic World, isn't it? It's got a Stegosaurus on it. It's all sparkly. Do you like your t-shirt, Jen? What's this? It's a Stegosaurus. Where's it gone? There it is. I can't see anything on that. Oh, you won't see it on that. So the way the light is. Do you like your shirt, Jen? It's so like this. Yeah, it's lovely. It shines, doesn't it? And she goes Jurassic World on her trousers as well. She's a very lucky girl because Daddy bought her that yesterday. Stop picking your nose. I can't see the TV. You can't see the TV? I am sorry. Are you going to say hello to all your fans? Now, oh, there's Siren Head. Can you hear him? Anyway, I'm afraid I'm stuck watching Siren Head for a little while. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Monday night. Jennifer's down sleeping in bed. Paul's just gone. I'm going to be making part, I think it's six, of my colouring book collection. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, part six tonight. So I'm upstairs going to get that ready in a minute. I've done all my accounts for eBay. I haven't made a much, much profit this year, but I'm not worrying about it. I just haven't been feeling up to doing it um maybe because i'm so tired all the time because my blood pressure once i get it under control i feel a bit more like i'm starting to want to do it which is good because once i want to do it as soon as i feel better obviously i'll start doing it so that's good so yeah i am going to make this video i might even make two if I, if I can get through the first one quite quickly um obviously the more i do the more books i free up for me to color in if i wish to um although i do want to try and finish off at least one to two of my whips um, I do have a notebook to do stuff in, I just haven't done it yet, I just haven't had the time. I might try to do that tonight, it's going to be what I plan on doing through the month, so it'll be finished two whips, or uh, colour one Jade Summer book I haven't coloured in before, and maybe two books off of my uh, uncoloured shelf, or something like that, and if I can do more, that's even better. I have had another gift voucher from work um because they give out these things these star awards if you get a lot some compliments, um so I've had another £50 uh, well I will be getting another £50 voucher so um, I think I'm just going to save it in a folder and on my uh, uh, computer because they last for a year after we get them and maybe save up for something I might buy film with it I might buy something else you know because if I get another Star Wars next month that'll be 100 I could get uh, some film some colouring books I don't know we'll have to see what happens um, at the moment I don't want to buy any colouring books um, really I've got so many I've got pre-orders that are supposed to be coming soon so I think the beauty of horror 5 is coming out this month I think it's the 24th it's supposed to be out obviously I've got uh, Tales from the Forest Kingdom uh, by Hannah Carlson the English version coming out the question is can I hold out for the English version of Tales from the Witch's Cottage I don't think so I might order that on book depository when it becomes available because that, that's what I'm desperate to get and then there's another pre-order I've got and I can't remember for the life of me what it is. There's three of them. I know that. There's that one. That one. I don't know. But I'm sure there's one more as well. So. 
Right, I am going to get on with this filming and I will see you tomorrow when I'll be, I'm trying, gonna try, no, I'll probably only film the one today because I want to do some other stuff. So if I film one today, I've got one already ready for tomorrow, well it's edited, being edited together t right now. So I'm one day ahead with the filming and then if I feel like doing more than one, another day I can. Obviously I've probably got another three to do I think and once I've done those three, I'll be filming my colour and chat and um, we'll do tenderful enchantments and so if I've got three more to do, it's Monday, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I should be filming that Thursday for up Friday, yay! Oh excuse my um, cellulite arms and my, I haven't done my blood pressure tonight but I did do it this morning so that's, I mean it's still horrendously high which is why I'm not pushing myself to do too much. If I want a day off, I've got I've got plenty of flip throughs to put up. I can have a day where I put two or three of those up in stairs and get them off. I might do that, but I am I'm going to film tonight. I'm in the mood. I might not film tomorrow night. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday, sausage and chips day. With nanas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. I finished work. It was an alright day. Not too bad. Off to go to the chip shop. I was going to go to the post office, but I just haven't got enough time, so I'll do it tomorrow. It's nothing major. Uh, my order went off this morning, so it's just something for myself. I've got to put some money in my bank. I can do that tomorrow. So I'm just heading towards the chip shop before I pick up Jennifer from Nasare. Hmm. Quite nice. It's uh, mild. Bit of breeze. Bit of grey. Bit of blue sky. So I'll just show you. There we go. And then over there is a bit grey. But it's not too bad, so um, yeah. I thought I'd do this while I was walking to the chip shop, so I'll see you in a bit when I get back. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I don't know what happened. Time just got away from me. Um, I've just been to the doctor's, sitting in the car, just picked up a prescription as well. I had my blood pressure done, still high. So they've given me some blood pressure pills, and that's fine. I've got to get it down, I'm trying to eat healthier. These pills will bring it down quite quickly with it apparently. So I've got to go back in four weeks to have it checked again. Fingers crossed it'll be coming down. Yay! So I'm gonna go and get this filled, get some Pyroton for Jen because of her hay fever, and then I'm gonna head home and I'm ringing. I've got one item to put and I'll see you in a minute. So here she is, picked up Jen, got my prescription. Got a boo-boo because they took some blood. My I went in your doctor's, didn't I? Yeah, I, 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 I went to my doctor's last week. Yeah, and what did they do? He just hurt myself. He put, oh yeah, you had a couple of needles in your arms, didn't you? He just hurt me. I know, he didn't mean to hurt you, but he had to do it. Now he's gone. Well, he's still there, I saw him today, but your pain's gone, hasn't it? It's not. It was just her booster shots for, you know, went so today. for school. I went today and they took some blood out of my arm. Um, I didn't see it. No, you didn't see it. Shall we go home and see Daddy? Um, Daddy's got the blood too. Yeah, Daddy's got blood too. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, it's late Wednesday evening. Well, it's not that late, but I've just taken my first blood. Well, I took my first blood pressure medication earlier. I'm feeling a bit tired. Very. A bit fuzzy. So I'm off to bed. Um, Jennifer's asleep. Paul's just gone to the other room. I'm going to upload a video before I uh, hit the hay, um, but I'm just sleeping here, tired, warm. Lost the TV remote for downstairs, don't know where it was, I had it this morning, can't find it. It's there somewhere, it's possible Jennifer's hidden it somewhere. Um, though why she would, I don't know, because she's the one that'll suffer, because I've got TV in my room and I can walk, I'll be up in my office and I'll be up here working tomorrow. So yeah, it's a bit odd, I'll have to have a look for it. Very, very tired, absolutely shattered. So, going to play my game and read this book I'm reading. It's called Murder in the Bookshop. Set in 1955, it's very good. Really enjoying that. And yeah, that's it really. I'm gonna just chill. Try and get a good night's sleep. At least it's Wednesday, Thursday tomorrow. Go and pop to Lidl's, see if they've got something that I want for Jennifer that we said we'd get her if they had it. Um, get that before I pick her up and then Friday not doing anything, I don't think. I think Paul might be going out, so if that's the case, it'll be a Mackie D's or something like that for me and Jen. And then Saturday, Paul's got to get a passport photo, so we'll be going into Newport. Uh, we'll be going to Tesco's uh, on um, Cardiff Road, which for me is very exciting because next door, or a couple of doors over, is Hobbycraft. 
and I'm going to go in and treat myself. Not too much, I'm just going to have a quick look around. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to maybe do a little bit of colouring, like I said, because I'm going to upload this video. As I've got one to post, I've got to check my drop and go, make sure there's enough money on it. I'll see you in the AM. Good morning, everybody. It's me. It is this morning. As you can see, I'm back up in my office come library, come spare bedroom. And I'm working up here today because I need to sit somewhere that's not too uncomfortable. But yeah, it does that work and I'll see you later. Ooh, it's a very grey day. Yeah. It's tomato, well, that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> that big tomato down there. No, no. Growing nicely. Where's these lettuces then that you planted not long back that are growing nicely? Yeah. In the green ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, it's been horrible, isn't it? Oh, look, they are growing nice, aren't they? Wow. Spread. Good at gardening, you are. Orange flowers are pretty, aren't they? Yeah, they're bloody useless actually. Are they? Pretty coloured. Spread everywhere. Yeah. I'll pull them out every now and then. I like your garden. Hmm? Oh yeah. I'll put you down. Oh, I'll have some more of them soon. Good. Love your garden. Sprung yarns. Was, um, was oh, um, radishes. radishes. But they didn't come on very well. Oh, that's a shame because I know Mum likes her radishes. <sighs> it's very grey, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, they've gotten tall, haven't they? Look how tall. There's one thing without a dog, you don't have to watch your feet for poo, do you? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't. It was a couple of leaves that had clumped together. Squashed down. Oh. No raspberry? No. Give it to Mum, let her enjoy them. Is she coming out, is she? Watch out, watch out, there's a monster about. You need to put your shoes back on. Hey guys, it's Thursday night, it's gone 10, so this is late for me. I was going to film tonight, <sighs> but we had, oh, what a day. Everything was fine. As you can see, I'm very flushed, so I'll explain why. Jennifer had a lollipop, she was, she nearly choked on it, but we, that was fine. Gave her a couple of slaps on the back and she was fine. It, it hadn't lodged or anything. I think it just went down and scratched her throat, so it sounded like she was choking when she wasn't, but that was fine. Putting her to bed. She's got a piece of paper in her hand and she's putting it up her nose. I said, don't, Jen, don't put that up your nose. So what does she do? She stuffs it up her nose. So far that we have to take her to the Royal Gwent Minor Injuries Unit. It used to be an A&E, so fully A&E. Now it's just a Minor Injuries Unit. Because they've moved the A&E to come round, which is fine. And, what, and um, only one of us is allowed in, so poor Paul's waiting in the car. And um, I'm sitting there with her waiting. She sneezes a couple of times. I'm thinking, great, that might dislodge it a bit because it was so far up you could barely see it. Anyway, half an hour later, I'm, let's have a look, couldn't see it, where is it gone, Jen? She went in there, I went, well, well I can't see it, Jen, where's it gone? <laughs> Thinking, maybe it came out, but it hadn't. A bit later on, ten minutes later, she started sneezing again. We hadn't been seen at this point. Sneezed twice, and then started complaining her nose was hurting. So I said, right, don't touch your nose, let me have a look. And I could see that it had dislodged and it had come down too high up to fur to pull it out but it would be fine for the nurse to get up there with a pair of tweezers and she's trying to rub it I said don't touch it Jen it's coming out on its own just leave it anyway she shook her head a bit and then I looked down on my my, my t-shirt and I thought what's that and then I realized that she'd actually blown the bit of paper out eventually and it had landed on my shirt and well that is disgusting because you know it's not I was just so relieved that we picked it up I checked her nose and I could see that it was clear and I, I, I said come on we'll go and tell the nurses that it's out and, and maybe we can go home 
took it out and they said, well, and they said, oh, are you all right? I went, yeah, she had a piece of paper stuck in her nose, but I think she's got it out now. <laughs> I feel so silly. And she went, right, okay. I said, yeah, she just needs a couple of times and shook her head and it came out. I said, this is it. This is what she put up her nose. And she went, right, that's good. So you're going home. And I went, if we can, yeah. Because it was late and late and she was exhausted. So said, that's fine. If you give me your name, I'll book her out. I said, thank you. And so I obviously went, I took the piece of paper, showed Paul what it was and, and that. And I feel like I want to ball my eyes out. I guess because you're running on adrenaline all night and I just wanted to cry. Because Paul doesn't drive and he said he couldn't have driven anyway. He said he wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. You, you, you got us safely to the hospital. You stayed calm. You explained what had happened. You got there, you, you know, you were calm with her. And he said, I, I would have just frozen. I wouldn't know what to do. But he did his thing too. He phoned the minor unit unit to check what we should do. And they said to come in. So it's a team effort and it's hard. But I really just want to pull my eyes out. So that's why I didn't do any filming. And I haven't uploaded a video today, so. She's sound asleep. She actually fell asleep in the car. By the time we turned out of the Gwent onto um, Cardiff Road to come back home, she was asleep, which was nice. And now I carried her up to bed when we got home. She woke up a bit and she looked sleepy at me. She said, pass the jam, Jim. I said, all right. So I read her past the jam, Jim. And she won't, you know, normally she joins in. And you know, She's had that story four times tonight. But she was so tired, she just lay down and then she turned over and she curled up. She's still fully dressed. Uh, she's got a nappy on because she was ready for bed because she's still wears a nappy to bed at the moment. But I was just so relieved that it actually had come out and that she's fine. It's the hardest thing in the world to be a parent and people say it, it's not hard, it is. You're always afraid something bad's going to happen to them. And that business with the lollipop, although I think it just scraped down her throat. I think she swallowed a bit. It was slightly too big and it scratched her throat and that's why she started coughing. Because she was fine, she had a drink and, and you know, I banged her back. But, but then to do that as well, and, and I, I'm, I'm in bits. I just, I know I'm rambling. So I'm, I've got to clean my bed off. There's loads of stuff on my bed because I was planning on doing a load of stuff tonight. And uh, obviously I'm not going to now. I'm going to go to bed and try and get some sleep. And Paul says just take the day off tomorrow if you need to. But I'll see how she is in the morning. And then I'll, uh, if necessary, ring the boss. But I I'm hoping we'll be all right because you know, it's Friday. And oh, I'm just glad that she is okay. So I'm going to sign off for the night. Tomorrow's Friday. We might do fish and chips up with the prince if uh, we're all filling up to it. I'm going to be bloody knackered all day tomorrow. You can see you're flushing. This might be my medication, actually. I don't know. It might just be adrenaline. But I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, take care. Morning, everybody. I am to set up for work. I'm just logging everything on. Jennifer has not gone to nursery today. She's tired, which is understandable because we didn't get back from the hospital till gone 11. Fortunately for me, Paul actually booked today off. So while this wasn't what he wanted to do, he will be looking after Jennifer while I work for a few hours. And then, I mean, I'm hoping she'll fall asleep. She's so tired, she won't go back to bed. When I went in to see if she was all right, she said she wanted to go to nursery and got up. And then as soon as she got downstairs, she didn't want to go to nursery. She wanted to stay home, but she didn't want to go back to bed. But hopefully she'll fall asleep later on. She'll, she'll crash at some point, um, either this afternoon or this morning. I've got to take my dad to shop in this afternoon, so when I finish, I will just go and take him shopping, which will be a little bit earlier, which will be great, and um, I'll drop him back and come straight home and go to sleep for a few hours. I'm shattered, but I'm determined to try and do my shift. I'm going to see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to concentrate properly, but if I have to, I'll knock off at half past ten or nine if I have to. I don't care anymore. I'm so tired. <laughs> Ooh. Oh dear, as you can tell. So anyway, I'm going to get logged on, get myself sorted out, get my fan on, because it's always a bit warm sitting here doing this. And I'm going to get on with it. I've got a cup of tea, I've got a can of Coke. Well, it's Pepsi, but you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, let's get the day done and see where we go with it. I'll talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Friday night. Everybody's shattered. 
it's about half eight. Paul's gone into the other room. I've come into the spare room. I think we'll just sleep better this way tonight. I'm knackered. Um, I had a doze this afternoon. Um, but it took me a while to get off. So I sit and read for a little bit. This book I'm reading called um, The Last Thing She Told Me. It's really good so far. Um, just like 9p on Kindle. It's about this girl, or this woman. She's got two growing kids and her... Her grandmother dies and she's been looking after her and you know checking on her and the last thing that she that uh, her grandmother says to her is well not the last thing but the penultimate thing she says there are babies at the bottom of the garden and the girl says fairies she went no babies promised to take care of my babies so they find the remains of two babies buried at the bottom of the garden and well that's as far as i've got so they're just doing dna now so it's really interesting so I'm going to read that for a little bit and then I'm going to go to sleep. Tomorrow we are going to Tesco to see if Max Wheelman is open to get Paul some photos for his um, passport. I'm flushed this side tonight, but not that side. That feels really warm. And I found my watch again, which is good. And then, of course, I'm going in Hobbycraft. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to make a list of polychromos that are getting on the, the short side because they sell them in open stock there and although they're expensive there it's cheaper than getting them off of Amazon and it also doesn't mean I have to buy so many pencils to get free shipping from another site like Cult Pens which I would happily do if I needed to but as I'm going to be in that area anyway why not I'll see you in the morning and we'll have a look in Hobbycraft together so it is Saturday morning it's absolutely hammering the down outside isn't it Paul Yes. And me and Jennifer are just sitting here in our pyjamas at the moment having a colour. So Jennifer, what are you colouring? She's colouring in her little chick's book. And the only reason that's in there is because it's got eggs on the page. Using her chunky Crayola crayons. And I am colouring in Kelly Horton's The Littlest Darlings. And I'm using the Bambino crayons. And this has all been done with the Bambino crayon so far. And I've nearly finished it. So we're going to do that now. We will be going out a bit later on, won't we? Because we've got to go to Tesco. Rainbow. I know, I've got to finish the rainbow, haven't I? And then I've got to do her top and trousers. Do, and I'll, a little bit on I'll the ducks and I'm done. do the blue one. I'll do the blue one in a minute. Where should I put the blue? In the next hole or? Um, in the next hole. In the next dry. All right, I'll do the, the blue in a minute then. So, Jennifer, you're going to keep colouring that, that for me? And I want to see what you're doing. I want to see you colour nice. Oh, I love it when she colours. She loves colouring. you just like your mummy, aren't you? And daddy. And daddy, yeah. You're just like your daddy. <laughs> they are lovely teeth. Don't get so close. You see, right up your nose then. That would have come in handy the other day when you put the paper up it, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do that. We like you. You're pretty. Say, so, give everybody a wave. See you in a bit. So, Max Spielman is shut, which is really annoying. Because they've had to close early for the day. Yes. Jennifer got a coat out of it, because she does need a new one, a, a waterproof one. So she got a blue Paw Patrol. We're going to have something to eat in a cafe before we head along to my favourite shop. Oh dear. Hobby craft. Ugh. Paul's dreading it. I've got a list of the polychromos I need to replace. I think the carpet shop is sad as far as interesting. No, it's not. There's stuff for Jennifer in Hobby Craft as well, isn't there? Yeah. Oh. So it's a nice day. We might pop in the big big new Lidl's on uh, Cardiff Road because we haven't been in that one. Let's have a look. See what what? You're gonna speak up. Oh Jen, you're doing me head in with this food nonsense. You've got Back now, and um, spent 48 quid in Hobby Craft. I did buy some stuff for Jen though. Um, polychromos that I wanted, apart from one, they didn't have one green in that I wanted, so I'll try and get that next time. So that's those Pro Markers 12 plus one uh, were on offer, they got free blender with them, uh, for these two sets one and two were £11 each instead of 20 cement. So they were originally £22 but they were on sale for 11 so that's good, there's 24 markers for well, less than a pound each really there's, there's a blender as well and I got the, the Crayola Twistable Crayons for Jennifer um, I want to try them but they are for Jen so we also got managed to get that big easel from Liddles so I will show you that later when I go back down and we can colour with these 
Oh, it'll be fun to try. I'll use them as well. I will haul them as mine, but they are mostly for Jennifer. They, they are, honest. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I could have spent a lot more, but I'm glad I, I got what I did. I wanted to try the Winsor & Newton Pro Markers for a while, so I'm going to have a look at them, see what colours we got. Uh, Buttercup Lemon Gold or... Lipstick Red, Cerise, Fuchsia Pink, Cocoa, Turquoise, Apple, Meadow Green, Cobalt Blue, Arctic Blue in one set, that's in set two, and in set one we have got Canary, Bright Orange, Ruby, Rose Pink, Amethyst, Sky Blue, Black, Cool Grey, Four, Henna, Forest Green, Lime Green and Indigo Blue, very nice twin tip i'll have a look at them later so yeah interesting enough they do sell the winter newton pro markers individually as well but they're two pound fifty a pop and then they're two pound fifty a pop or they're 22 pound for 12 so apart from those two which were on in the sale rail so i thought i'd pick them up so i'm gonna try those later i'll give them a swatch and see how they go and uh, yeah i'm, I'm you know see what they're like so it's a bit late so but we on have put it up the, the magnetic bits go on the other side jen on the other side. On the other side. On the white side. That's just for chalk. That's why I didn't turn it round. Ah, oh, well you've tried! And it looks like a W on there. Yeah! Go on. Pick the chalks up. Put them back in the box and put them in the on the tray. That's what the tray's for. You're going to put some stuff on the, the magnetic board? Yeah, it's good isn't it? You want me to go away? You can go to bed soon, but you can play with it for five minutes, okay? Good girl. Hey guys, everybody's in bed. I'm going to sleep soon. I've just been trying to swatch the Pro Markers I bought, and I've already mucked up the chart by missing a few colours off the page. So when I print off some more um, coloured swatches tomorrow, sorry, I need to drink charts, I'll actually just add those onto the next page even though they should be with the reds because it's the purples and violets somehow i missed three or four of them i have no idea what happened probably because i'm working from a phone screen rather than a, a proper big page but hey it's all right so i'm going to um check out for the night <sighs> gosh i'm so tired and uh oh, excuse me i am really tired i'm just having a quick look yeah i'm, I'm gonna just go to, to to sleep and sunday tomorrow so i'm tired and i will see you in the morning bye Hey guys, it is Sunday, um, been shopping, didn't spend much, didn't get much at all. Got a freezer full of food that I want to start using up, get it out, so I've got space for getting ready for Christmas. Because obviously it's a long way off, but as soon as the turkey start coming out, because it's supposed to be a shortage this year, I want to get it and get it, whack, in, whack it in the freezer, but at the moment I can barely get diddly squat in it, so I want to empty one of the trays, potentially, so I'm going to start going for it. I mean there's three McDonald flurries that Jennifer hasn't eaten. When she's in bed tonight I'm getting rid of them because they're just ugh. There's normal ice cream and ice lollies in there. There's plenty of that stuff. I like to have my stuff organised in a particular way and it's just not because it's just been messed up. So I'm going to try and get it organised. Paul's going out a bit so I'm going to be downstairs watching rubbish with Jennifer. The joys. Um, but I am going to take down um, a couple of colouring books and some markers and try and do some of the colour by numbers in the book I got yesterday one of the books, well both the books are Halloween ones but I, I just fancy colouring them and maybe Rose Windows I'm going to take that lot down and my laptop, I'm going to watch the auction there's loads of photography stuff on there not expecting to get anything I'm, I will register to bid and if it's cheap enough I'll get it and if it's not I know that the last two camera items won't because they're a couple of likers but I'm very interested to see how they go for how much they go for there's obviously going to be a lot of camera collectors uh, watching or in the room so for me it's just a matter of just interest seeing what everything goes for like I said there's four lots of cameras very early in the auction and they're quite interesting the first one is some photography backdrops and books and a 600D which is a, a Canon 
Canon 600D, I think this it was, which is a, a digital, which is fine. Probably doesn't work. But it's, it's okay. And that takes the big um, memory cards. Not the memory cards, what they're called. Not the SD cards. I can't think what they're called. They're the big ones anyway. If I remember right, I'm sure that's what they take. They might not. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Then the next one is a very old camera by Lancaster and Son. Um, now they're very rare and they go for quite a lot of money. So I'm interested to see how much that goes. Well, just because I'm interested, not because I want it. And then there's two other lots of cameras. One comes with a lot of developing equipment, um, paper, there's tanks, there's um, enlarger stuff by the look of it, and a load of cameras as well. And there's another lot of cameras that looks quite interesting as well. So it's really the last two lots I'm more interested in but uh, we'll have a look i'm gonna I'm, i mean i might let i might uh, let you see with me because i will be up and down because there's a ton of washing that needs doing as well so i'll be doing that this afternoon watching the auction and playing with jennifer so i'll take you with me and we'll see what happens hey guys it is me it's sunday night everybody's gone to bed i'm doing some printing i've got three Ava Brown books to print off and one of them i definitely want to color in as soon as i can which is the new fairies book and I also want to do the gnomes in the Secret Village Gnomes or something it's called. I'm not sure. I'll have a look when it comes out. I'm currently printing out some swatch sheets. And then I'm going to be printing out those books and some odd PDFs. I do a few of them every day. Every time I have the printer set. Well, the printer's always set up because it just works on this computer. So when I got the laptop down, I can be bothered to, to bring it down. So once I've printed up what I want to, I'm going to have a shower. Just wash in and I'll jump tumble dry out and go to bed and then we colour in and chill out. I've got my new phone here, it's in this little case. Very nice. It is a flip case. I know all people have flip cases because we like to protect our screens. And I have got a screen protector. Here it is. It's a Sony Xperia 10 III. I did previously have the Sony Xperia. As far as I know, it's probably still updating all my apps because I've got so many of them. Hang on, here we go. Let's see what this says. It says finish setting up Xperia. So I'm just gonna, I do like this. I don't have to do that on the last one. Let me have a look at it. Finish setup. Here we go. Can start. Yeah, it probably it probably needs to update the um, the firmware and all that stuff. So that's fine because as long as I can get it set up ready to for the alarm to go off tomorrow, I have to set turn the other alarm off that's fine i'm gonna get back to this because i'm just uploading um big guide girls coloring book by coloring book cafe i flip through and uh, i'll see you in a bit hey guys it's 20 to 11 now sunday night i am done had a nice shower i'm dry my hair in a bit my phone is just doing a another update uh, my other phone charging so i can play my old cafe land through the wi-fi Because sadly it doesn't um, transfer the game information over the state. So your game, it starts you a new one. So I now have three cafes. One on my tablet, which must be honest, I don't use very often. It's supposed to be for movies in bed. I said I'm on the TV on, put the headphones on. Um, I haven't used it for a while. I will have to soon because I want to watch The End of Metropolis. I also want to watch some of the old silent movies. Then there's... Uh, what else? I've put a roll of film in the Holger that came the other day. I don't know if I've showed you it. This is for Holger Week. You'll be seeing this at some point on my TikTok if I ever get around to making any videos. As I'm not really sure what you do with it, to be honest. I like watching them though, so I might watch them later. Sniffling, I know. Terrible, isn't I? Oh. So I'm going to do a little bit of swatching. And I'm going to dry my hair. I'm going to go to bed. I'm just going to show you what I printed off today. Oh, not that cup top piece. But this is all colouring. Well, not all colouring, but mostly colouring. There's some swatch charts there. Three Ava Brown books. A couple of free Crayola pages from the Beatles. The Beatles stuff, so... Uh, yellow submarine one. And then a Strawberry Fields one. I assume it's from the colouring book. But I thought that'd be nice to do. I've got a Discovery Club from Colour in Heaven. I like that picture. I want to colour that. Like I said, three of the Ava Brown books, Fairies, uh, Secret Village Gnomes, and Forest Animals. So I'll sort them out and put them in my haul. Um, that's, the re that's one of the reasons I do my haul on the last day of the month is I might get another Ava Brown book on Saturday 
I don't know. I know that she's got, they've got gnomes and gothic still to go. So it, I'm looking for both, no, not gnomes, we've done gnomes. Gothic and elves, I think it is, or something, I can't remember. So I'm gonna sort these out now and put them into my haul. I've got tons and tons of PDFs lying around. I've got to sort them out. They are everywhere. And I will find them and sort them out, because, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm just going to whack these out of the way and put the swatching bits in my swatching thing. I can't, I don't even know what I'm thinking today. I'm going to head off to bed. And I still didn't do what I went down to do. I went down to take my blood pressure medication and I still haven't taken it. I'm going to try it again. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do it all again. Love you. Bye.